A shortage of basic medical equipment used in hospitals every day is having an effect on patients who are in serious need of care. The family of a patient with pancreatic cancer says he was told he would have to wait for a potentially life-saving procedure. And believe it or not, it was all because doctors were low on surgical gowns. Christina Rex investigates how this is affecting patients here and across the country. That was brutal. I mean, pancreatic cancer is painful. It's something that no one expects. A shocking diagnosis for a local family. On January 7th, Adam's father-in-law was diagnosed with stage 3 pancreatic cancer. It was a really rough week now two weeks. Then at the family's first oncology appointment at Newton Wellesley Hospital, they say the receptionist told them there might be a two-week delay on a procedure to install a chemotherapy port. Anger, first and foremost, I mean, it's something so simple. The reason? An impending recall on a popular brand of sterile gowns worn by surgeons. The FDA asked providers to stop using a specific Cardinal Health gown because of quality issues identified at a contract manufacturer's facility. Cardinal Health says at this time it cannot guarantee the products are sterile. The potential for procedural delay came as a shock to Adam's family, already struggling with the difficult diagnosis. How do you, what do you do with that information you're told oh we need to start this now and then five minutes later you're told oh no we can't do that adam and his wife say they pushed the hospital to get that procedure done sooner for their sick father and they were successful he had a chemo port installed on january 15th it was a huge relief to the family but it was that lack of information about the product hold and the potential delay that frustrated them that's not something you would ever anticipate or think about. It's not a very transparent process. It's not very transparent to the end, u end user or the customer. Partners Healthcare, the nonprofit that runs Newton Wellesley, said in a letter, we are taking this situation, which is impacting thousands of hospitals across the country, very seriously. We've secured additional gowns to support our hospitals and minimize any impact to our patients. To date, we're not aware of any patient harm associated with this event. Do you blame the hospital? Not necessarily, no. Adam considers his family lucky because his father-in-law got the treatment he needed. In other parts of the country, like western Pennsylvania, hospitals canceled and rescheduled elective non-emergency surgeries because of this issue. There's no word yet on when the problem will be resolved. I mean, it was shocking to know there are other people out there who could be impacted by this, and they don't know. They're, they're getting told potentially that their surgery is getting delayed for two weeks, and they don't know why. In Newton, Christina Rex, WBZ News.